Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, as you can probably see behind me, um, I've got up nice and early for sunrise and I've been rewarded with some mist and fog conditions. Um, so I saw on the forecast last night that there was a chance of, of mist and fog in the area. So I took a bit of a chance and came out to a place called Flatford Mill, uh, right on the border between Suffolk and Essex. Um, and it's a particular favourite location of mine, uh, particularly for mist and fog, um, as I, I think it provides quite a range of, of different subjects to shoot. Um, so I'm going to go out today, this morning, have a bit of an explore and see what I can come away with. So I think I framed up my first shot this morning and um, again it's quite an obvious composition and one that I've shot before um, but I think it's worth shooting again just to see if I can get some slightly different conditions. So if I just show you on the back of the camera um, as you can see um, I've got a lovely frame here um, I've got a bridge coming in from the left hand side um, and just over the bridge is uh, a cottage called, I believe it's called Willie Lott's uh, Cottage. I might be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there are lots of um, atmosphere um, and lots of mood that the, the mist and fog adds. Um, but yeah, I think it's a lovely shot. <laughs> One thing I am going to do with this image is just make sure that uh, I'm focusing correctly. Um, often when it is misty and foggy it's hard to um, focus on certain subjects. Um, I'm not sure this will be too much of uh, an issue in this uh, particular scene. But it's worth making sure um, and it's worth reviewing the images after you take them. Um, just so you've got that peace of mind. I am also uh, keeping an eye on the highlights in the image um, just to make sure that they're not blown out. Um, often it's, it's a bit tricky with uh, foggy conditions as um, often the, the foreground is much darker than the uh, background or the, the sky. So I'm just being mindful of that uh, and making sure I'm capturing all the data in the image. Uh, one thing I do like to do when uh, I'm framing my image is just to experiment slightly with the position of the tripod. Uh, my experience uh, moving the tripod, you know, one meter to the left or right does make a big Im impact on, on the image. Uh, and the same goes with the height of the tripod. So it's just something I like to do and uh, just to make sure that I've got all, all angles covered. So this whole area sits in a valley, uh, which is generally quite a good area to come to if there might be mist and fog in the area. Uh, quite often when I've come here, uh, there's been mist in, in this part, but if you drive a couple of miles up um, towards the, the top end of the valley, you know, there's no mist at all. So um, I generally come here quite often in the summer and the autumn. Um, because there is an increased likelihood of finding mist and fog. So I think I found another shot that I'm quite pleased with. Um, so just as I was walking up, um, you walk past um, some cows um, and cows are often in, in this field. Um, but they've always been um, the other side of the field when I've come down here, so there hadn't really been much use in terms of adding them into an image. Um, but the scene that I have found, I think, complements um, that well in terms of the river, the trees and, and the cows in the field. Um, and I think it creates quite an atmospheric uh, image. So if I just show you on the back of the screen, um, so as you can see there, um, right in the middle of the frame, uh, you've got a nice um, sort of curved tree. 
um, and that kind of feels like uh, the canopy of the tree sort of uh, shelters the scene a little bit if that makes sense um, and you know I think you've got a lot of atmosphere on the left um, and then on the right hand side it's almost like you've got the silhouettes of the cows uh, just to add some interest into the scene um, but I think that that uh, sort of tree in the middle um, really does make uh, the scene. Uh, one thing I am um, being careful with is not to overlap the trees uh, too much or avoid it if I can so just so there is a little bit of a gap um, between them um, I just sort of find that it simplifies the scene just a little bit um, and adds um, just that layer of separation that you need. <laughs> seems like cows are the, are the theme for this shoot this morning. Um, I've managed to find another shot I think works well. Um, and again, the cows are in the distance, uh, sort of shrouded in, in the fog. I think in this scene in particular, um, you know, the cows are very, very distant and I'm not sure if you're viewing it on mobile or, or the website even, you might not sort of make out the full detail of, of what they are. Almost just looks like they're blobs you know um, shadows in the in the distance but um, if, if you do sort of zoom in um, and I might crop in on, on the final image just to make that clear um, but I think yeah again really atmospheric um, and adds a bit of interest to the scene um, if the cows weren't there in this one um, it wouldn't it wouldn't be very balanced I feel um, it, it'd be very dominated by that white space and and the tree So as you can probably see behind me, the fog is still really, really thick. Um, I'd say the sun has probably been up technically for about 45 minutes now. Um, and yeah, usually in that time, uh, it does clear away a little bit of the fog. Um, but it seems like this morning it's going to hang around for a little bit longer. Um, which is a little bit tricky because I think... I sort of find the best light in when it's foggy or misty is uh, is when when you get that that sun shining through and you get those those light rays in the fog. Um, but yeah, this morning it might be just a foggy just a foggy one. So, um, but yeah, um, so I'm still going to have a look around work with the conditions. Um, I have come to a spot that I'm quite familiar with. Um, I sort of quite often come at this particular location, this spot in the autumn, because uh, there's a great, I think it's an oak tree, um, the, the leaves go, go really golden during that time. Uh, I framed up a shot and uh, again it's it's uh, a particular scene I've, I've shot before um, but I think it's worth uh, shooting again uh, just because I haven't shot it in in these conditions uh, that is the the fog mixed with uh, the summer uh, greenery on the trees one thing um, I have done before and one thing I'm doing this time is including uh, some wooden uh, wooden stacks I guess um, wooden posts in the foreground which I presume form part of a like a boardwalk or a jetty at, at some point um, I, might, I might be wrong on that um, as I say I have included them before and I'm never quite sure whether they add anything to the image um, 
you know, sometimes you sort of add foreground interest for the sake of it sometimes. Um, and I'm never quite sure in this instance whether that is the case or not. I thought I'd, I'd tried a few different variations, one with the posts and, and one without, and probably see uh, on the computer later uh, which ones I prefer. Um, but I'd, I'd be keen to know your thoughts um, and which one you prefer. probably found my last shot from this stretch uh, of the river anyway. Um, I've had a bit of a, a walk around and um, can't quite find anything new um, but one scene I have found um, that I think works quite nicely is, um, is this one um, and what I like about it is um, it, again it just sort of feels balanced but also there's so much atmosphere in, in the scene so as you can see in, in the far, far distance, you've got almost like the silhouette of a tree. And then you've kind of got in the mid ground, um, you know, the, probably the central point of, of the image, um, quite a nice pleasing shape of the, of the tree. And then right on the right hand side, uh, you've kind of got like the overhang of what seems like a tree uh, right above you. Um, in this particular case, it's, it's just to the right of me, but I feel like the way I framed it, it does sort of feel like it's it's right over your head, which which I really like. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, uh, you can always subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.